The common or garden plastic pot. Fill it with potting soil, sow or plant into it, and when you're done, just throw it away. But not so fast. There are many ways you can reuse plastic pots. Some of them are practical, some will make your life easier, and others are downright genius. In this video, we will share a few of these exciting ideas. Tomato plants are thirsty plants. They need regular watering, which can lead to the soil becoming compacted and water running off before it's had a chance to be absorbed. The solution? Make your own water reservoir halos. Simply take a plastic pot like this and cut off the bottom with a sharp knife or pair of scissors. You now have your plant halo. Push it halfway into the soil, then plant your tomato inside like this. Now, when you water your tomatoes, the walls of the pot will contain the water and allow it to gradually soak into the soil. You can also add more potting soil or high quality garden compost into the halo at planting time while leaving space for water. This encourages roots to grow from the buried part of the stem which will offer more support and nutrients for the plant. This also works for other crops in the same family such as peppers. You can use pots to help water other thirsty plants such as squash. In this case there's no need to cut off the bottom. Just dig a hole next to the plant for your pot reservoir Bury the pot almost up to the rim like this, then fill with water. Need to pot on a plant into a larger container? Then use an empty pot as a planting guide. Add some potting soil to the new container. Place an empty pot the same size as the original one into the middle of the container, then continue to fill around it. Remove the pot to leave a ready-made hole. Take your plant out of its old pot, tease out the roots if necessary, then plant into position. Firm it in and water it. Beneficial bugs such as bees and lacewings are a boon to the gardener because they pollinate our crops and eat pests. Encourage them to stick around by making a home for them out of an old pot. Stuff the pot with a selection of bamboo cane pieces, hollow stems, twigs or corrugated cardboard, then perch the hotel on its side in a sheltered position. You could also attach a hook to the pot and hang it from a branch. I'm always using garden twine in the garden. Trouble is, it's always getting tangled up or, inevitably, I can't find the end of it. This idea is simple yet ingenious. Pop your ball of twine into a pot, then feed the end through one of the drainage holes. Use some duct tape to hold the spool in place. You now have a ready to use twine dispenser. Just pull from the bottom and cut off what you need. Or why not bring out your creative side? Thoroughly scrub old pots clean, then leave them to dry. They're now ready to paint or decorate. Be as creative as your imagination allows. You can paint pots in strong colours like this. Use non-toxic paints to prevent tainting any crops you plan to grow in them. Or glue on materials such as burlap or hessian, rope or cloth. Any pot will do for this, even a flimsy plastic one. Spread the glue on thickly enough for a firm set. Stick on your material and leave to dry. Then add a coat of non-toxic paint. You can theme your pots to suit your taste. Add shells, beads or even mosaic pieces to create a snazzy pot that's unique to you. Large pots make handy containers for harvesting and washing vegetables. The drainage holes at the base of the pot allow for quick and easy cleaning of your fresh produce. Just place the vegetables into the container, then blast them with a jet of water to loosen and remove ingrained soil. They're now ready for the kitchen. Pots, whether plastic, stone or terracotta, have a multitude of uses beyond the obvious. If we've missed one out, then let us know about it by dropping us a comment below. And for more great gardening ideas, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you next time.